Okay, this is my like fourth time trying to record this video, so I'm gonna be really concise about this because I keep rambling on and then like not really feeling like I'm being helpful or making the video that I would want to watch if, if I was searching for this. So here it is, NZXT Kraken Z73, it don't work. You've got a problem, I had a problem, it looks like this. It does the liquid monitoring screen, but it doesn't do anything else. And then you go up here, sorry, let me change this, and you don't see this. You see connection with the pump has failed, or connection with the device has failed, or no connection, or no device is found, and you'll see that under cooling, you'll see it under lighting. You may even have no, you may even have like this whole image is gone, this whole bar is gone, and there's a whole image in the middle that just says no supported device found. So what that is, is it's this micro USB cord running out of the top part of the cam down around to your USB header. Now, shout out to Michael Knowles, the YouTuber that was going back and forth with me in the comments and helped me figure out what the issue here was. Now his solution isn't the repair method that ended up working for me, but I did find what worked for me in his uh, steps. One of his steps ended up doing something for me. So what he told me to do was to go in here and find the NCXT thing in the, in the device manager and delete the driver for it. Now, th this really annoyed me on some other YouTube videos was that I was like, I don't have this in here, I can't find it. Okay, so the main issue with that is that you might be doing something that I did, which is you're keeping your thing really safe, you're turning it off then you're unplugging it, plugging it back in, maybe something like that, and then turning it back on. I advise you to, while the thing is on, first delete the driver, then unplug it, and then plug the USB header, this thing right here. Unplug it, and then plug it back in, while it's on. Because while, while it's on, you're giving Windows the ability to recognize the USB header that you just installed and then install new drivers for it because mine turned on and started working immediately after immediately once I plugged it in after I had uninstalled the driver so uninstall the driver unplug it and plug it back in while it's on and see if it works for you so that's it that's the repair method that got me working. Now let me, you know, let me, let me put something cool on there so we can actually be like, yay, it's working. Um, here's a GIF. Here's my favorite GIF. Lock and load.